questions for Johnny. Uh, can you just talk about the gutsy win tonight? And uh, at what points in this game, there was more block shots than there were um, shots on goal. It was uh, a real gritty, gutsy win. Yeah, it's just guys putting their body on the line to win the game. And, you know, you do anything to, to get the win, and, and we did. And we just got to put it behind us and look forward to the next one. Emily Kaplan, ESPN. Hey, guys. I was wondering if you could share the message um, both after regulation and after the first overtime period. Uh, yeah. Uh, just stick with the plan. Uh, you know, anything can happen in playoffs and especially in overtime. You just want to get the puck to the net. And, you know, sometimes it goes off some, something and in, but it was a nice play by Anders and, you know, it was a, a beautiful goal. And, you know, you just got to, you know, try to limit chances. And this guy beside me did a lot of good stuff by keeping us in the game. Derek Van Deest, Post Media. Um, I say, man, I just want to ask you about that double minor late in the third period and into overtime. Uh, obviously, that was a huge kill for you guys. What was the key in, in killing off those two penalties for you guys? I mean, that was a huge kill uh, for us, of course, because our season was in the line, you know. Today, uh, when we go in overtime, like, you go up one goal and your season is over. So, like, you know, like, you go in the PK, you try to do whatever you can uh, to, to make the save for you know stop to stop the shot so the guys did an unbelievable job uh, battling through uh, in those moments steven wino ap samian uh just curious barry trot said this morning this is obviously the, your first long playoff run like this how comfortable and locked in do you feel right now yeah i mean <laughs> i didn't have a chance to play a lot of uh, playoff games in my um initial career um but you know like um, I'm just happy to be here today and then um, uh, play uh, play these playoffs. I mean, it's very exciting for me. It's very exciting for uh, this team. Uh, we're playing the conference final, so it's a big deal for us. And then uh, for our fans in Long Island, everybody's watching, everybody's rooting for us. So today was a um, um, you know, big win uh, for us in overtime. And then uh, we extend the series, so we're looking forward to play um, next game. Take the next question, Andrew Gross, Newsday. Hey, uh, Varley, you're, you're a guy, you know, at least uh, as, as we've known you, who doesn't often show your emotions publicly like that. What are you thinking doing a, a Pete Rose head first slide in, into the celebration there? What, what was that moment like for you? <laughs> um, I don't know. I, was, I, just, I just jumped because I was like so excited. Um, for us, you know, like like I said, our season our season was on the, on the line today. Um, this game, and then you know when we scored that goal, it was just a lot of emotions going through. Like in that moment, I was just so happy for the guys, and so happy for us. Like we we extend the series, and then you know we have a chance to uh, continue to play. Jordan, you've spent a lot of time in this city over the course of your career, and never got a chance to score an overtime winner or a, uh, overtime or a playoff goal uh you get the overtime winner tonight that's got to feel uh super nice for you yeah um you know we the boys battled hard tonight we uh we had some moments in the d zone and especially in overtime where we you know had a broken stick you know collapsed and just held on um just wait for our chance and yeah obviously to, to score that and you know continue to move on and, and uh give ourselves another chance uh, in a couple of days it's huge derek van deest post media um, hey, Jordan, congrats on your goal. I just want to ask you about the, the mentality going into overtime. It looks like you guys really try to play a patient game and you weren't trading chances with, with them, I guess. What was what was the mindset going into the first and second overtime? Um, <clears throat> I mean, that's kind of the, the style of our, our team. We're, we're patient. We we don't want to give up a lot, obviously. they got a lot of, a lot of firepower over there that can hurt you. So, um, you know, you... Uh, you don't want to give them the opportunity to do that, especially in overtime. So you just patience and, and uh, be in the right position. And, and obviously, when you get your chance, uh, you know, you got to find the net. Chris Johnston, Sportsnet. Yes, question also for you, Jordan. I, I'm wondering why you, you've been able to, you think, to, to score so many big goals in your careers and big moments. What is it about those times where you're able to find a way? Um, you know, uh, it's the, the biggest one in a long time, for sure. Uh, you know, just... Want to be in the opportunity to first you got to be 
you know, have the opportunity to do it. You know, you, this team's battled hard to get to, to where we are, and, and uh, you know, we're not finished. So, um, you know, the, uh, you got to look at the whole play. You know, Leezy made a, a heck of a, a job chipping it to himself and then, you know, making a, a great pass to me, and, and uh, I just kind of had to put it in. So, you know, a lot of credit should go to him too. Molly Walker, New York Post. Hi guys, uh, Ryan, what'd you think of how Johnny stepped in after not playing since the first game of the Florida series? And I guess how much was his presence felt tonight? Yeah, he, uh, he brings a presence um, for us. You know, he, uh, he goes out there, he blocks shots, he, he plays tough. So we knew, uh, you know, when he was getting his opportunity, he was going to step in and, and do his job. And, you know, big, big block on early in the kill and, and just, you know, playing hard. And, you know, that's what we expect from him. And that's what he did.